Hi, how y'all doing? This is Sandra, aka Simply Love, coming at you with a new video for August 2016. This is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. Hi, Caps. I love you guys. How you doing? Thank you for viewing my channel. I also want to thank you all for sending so many beautiful messages to me, and especially to the ones I've had uh, personal readings with. Uh, it's been off the chain with the readings, and um, I really enjoyed doing those for you. Beside what I've done with the free one question, I really enjoyed that. That was so much fun, and I'll be doing that again soon. Got a lot of surprises out there for you because I did do moon gazing. Somebody sent me this headpiece here with the little piece here, which represents uh, your third eye, the opening of your spiritual eye, or the cleansing of your spiritual eye. It never was closed. It's always been open. It's just nobody never looked through it spiritually. And that's how I've been doing here lately, my spiritual work, spiritual self, getting in tune with my spiritual God, my, my, the inside of me. That's what's going to li live forever, last forever. And I want to help other people to come to that uh you can't force nobody to do nothing just like the most high God does it. He makes you, you know, you make your own choices. You know, you, you have a choice to do whatever you want to do, but you know what those, cho you know what the uh, consequences is going to be by whichever choice you make. I ain't got to even go through all that, but I would like to see people happy. I want to see people in love. I want to see people enjoying their life. I want to see people getting out of life, what they want, what they need. I want to see people, I want to see all of us come together, no matter what color, race, creed, or no, anything like that, come together as one and be one big happy family and like all work together, use our natural talents and abilities and trade with one another. Because if we keep relying on the government, um, the way, the, the, um, the, the, uh, um, the way the creator has this set up, you know, it's already a game player that's already done been played out. We're we're just, you know, pawns in it and, and, and moving along how we supposed to so it'll work out the way he plans it at the end or the end is the beginning. But it's only for certain players. There's pawns. You know how the um chess game goes. It all depends on what part you want to play in that game. I want to be a king or a queen. I want y'all to be kings and queens and be, you know, some part of the chess game, but I want you to be on the side, the spiritual side, where you're going to win. That's no doubt you're going to win. No doubt at all. So just listen to your angel guides. Tune into your um, third eye, which is located right here, where I have this piece right here. It's right here. Sometimes you can just touch it and just like kind of move around. And it, you know, it activates it. You can feel it all through your body. You feel your body tingling. That's telling you, you know, you're activating it and you, you're you're wanting to reach the spirit and it, it wakes up. It's not the, it doesn't never close. It's always open. It just wait, you just wake up and you're saying, okay, I want to be in tune with my spirit guides. I want to see what they got to say to me. I want to see what they got to show me vision. And we got the power like that. We always have had it, but we lost it somewhere along the line. We let us, we were manipulated, misused, abused. But like I said, all that's going to change and everybody's got to get in tune with the spirit and um, what, you know, you know, what the creator is getting ready to do here and what's ready, get ready, go down. You're going to go down with him or you're going to go down with man. Which one are you going to choose? That's, that's your decision. But we're going to help you here right now before that cycle comes around and then ends and where you end up at is going to be there. It's, you're going to be there for a long time. Either you're going to suffer or you're going to have happiness in your life. That's what I've been told. Here's my crystal here that I have here. Um, and some of the readings, like it was like when I was picking up certain cards, it was blinking. Um, as I was moon gazing and I had this, somebody gave this to me and told me to use it as I moon gazed. I had so many dreams. Um, I have to tell y'all that in a different video because it's just off the chain. It's just off the chain. How, what All the visions that I've been getting and all the um, confirmations. And I know there's temptation. I already know what the temptation is. So I'm just like already prepared for it. It's like, saving my own life because I don't want that no more. I don't want to be tempted by things that I know that's not 
serving my interests at all. I don't want that. I don't want repeated patterns anymore. So uh, they show me what they were and uh, and they're going to come at me, but uh, I'm going to be protected. I'm going to be heavily protected because that's what I prayed for and that's what I asked for to be protected. I might even be protected to where it might even avoid it altogether. And that's a good thing. I like that. And I could just like, just keep on moving. Don't stop. No, keep on moving. Believe in your dreams. I want everybody to believe in your dreams. Believe in your dreams, everybody. It's it's that time. It's that time. It's that wake up call. Uh, the creator, the universe, just the moon. The, you know, we're all part of all that. They're calling on us to uh, wake up. It's time to wake up and smell the coffee. It's been going on too long. It's time for things to change. And it's going to take us to do that, but we have to make a decision, okay? I got your cards laid out for you. Again, this is Sandra, a.k.a. Simply Love. Welcome to my channel. I love each and every one of you. <laughs> I got talking into something else. I forgot to do do all that, I guess. Um, This is going to be for the sign. Did I say it was for Capricorn? I think I did do say all that. I'm so sorry. I get the jabby jaw sometimes, but my energy is so, so high right now. It's like, woo, I can't wait to give it to you guys. <laughs> so here we go. Your reading for Capricorn 2016. Um, The energy that I'm getting here um, for Capricorn, which this is you. The Knight of Pentacles, which is a middle-aged man. He's a middle-aged man, and he is looking out at his accomplishments. He is a reliable, dependable person. He is uh, got his stuff together. He's like, could be a best friend. He's very um, practical, sensible sensuality he has high sensuality sensuality practical and he lives in the material world he loves the material world that's the thing with pentacle signs they are in the material world but they're very practical and sensible um they know how to save money they're reliable they're faithful they're honest most of them that's their nature the nature i'm just giving you the uh i'm giving you the plan the format you know just the structure of what you know in a sign a sign is not all what it, it you they, it's just a plan it's just a blueprint of a person that you get to know that you that you can feel out already a blueprint but it's not to all them you know because there's other star they're mixed up with other things you know like uh rising moon and stars stuff like that can happen Yes, it can. It just depends on day, time you're born. I don't know about all that, and I don't want to know about all it because it's just too much damn information, and it's all in up and everywhere. But I'm a spiritual reader, so they're gonna put everything all in one. This is for your rising moon sign, uh, sun sign, all that. Okay, it's for all the houses that you want to go in and out of. It's for all the planetary, whatever it is. Spear is going to wrap it all up into one for you, from me to you guys, okay? That's how that's going to work. Knight of Pentacles, uh, all that yellow, looking out, you know, looking out for self, taking care of self. This is you, Capricorn. Um, you're standing there with your, uh, you got a, a hatchet in the back, and then you got a, um, uh, a shield it's like but it's none of it's covering you none of it's in front of you you just got it there just in case <laughs> you be like <laughs> just in case somebody want to come along and act a little crazy i got my little stuff with me i got my shield right here and i got my hatchet to cut their head off if they go too far that's all that's about See, they ain't got it in front of them you know they ain't all up on guard and ready to fight and all that it's some just in case shit and you can't blame them for that okay and then they got a pentacle on that shield to let you know i can you know if you if you start to you know want to act up that i gotta pay my way here i got money too besides i'm protected with my money that's what i'm feeling with this card you just you just chill and shoot and and, and on you know guarding your money 
and guarding yourself with that hatchet in the back there in case you need to pull that bad boy out to show that you ain't no joke and that you ain't um nobody to be uh reckoned with. You know, you ain't nobody to be playing games. Look how stern that face is. Y'all ever know most Capricorns be smiling and shit? They don't be doing all that. They be stern face, you know, straight face. They can laugh and have fun. They can cut up and all that when they, you know, you know, home and, you know, at, without the job and all that kind of stuff. They probably, the probably the nuttiest that they could be. I, you know, I would be if I was them because I could be straight. I can't be straight all throughout all the time. I got to cut up. And, you know, act like I ain't got no damn sense sometimes, you know. I just got to do that. I got to have fun. I got to laugh and, you know, grit. But but, but you got to be aware, like, like the, pen, the, uh, the night, you got to, when you're out and about, you got to be re aware. You got to stay focused, okay. That's just all, that's just life, okay. So, you know, Capricorn, you all right right now. You know what's up. You about to get some news. You about to receive some news, a phone call, a letter. You're waiting on this. You've been waiting on this. Hearing from someone or somebody being in a relationship, I'd say, you know, it's your partner or someone you want to partner up with. Um, you probably had a, a little separation because you may have been pretty, pretty busy. You know what I mean? So you may not have been able to see one another as much as you would like. But there's, there is communication, I, I believe, that you were waiting on for a little bit. Some communication maybe. may have been some communication problems, but I feel like with the Eight of Rods, you're getting ready to get some type of communication. There's going to be some action behind this communication. You're, you've been waiting on it, or somebody's been waiting on it. Um... This is not a per actual, this is an actual person, which is you because it's a court card, okay? Because it's, so I can say it's you, you're the pinnacle sign, so that's you. This is not a court card, so I have to take the energy from it and say, this is something, um, um, some type of communication when it comes to, excuse me, the, the, uh, the, the wands. Rods, they call it rods, wands, you know, same thing. But um, it's like, um, it may be some kind of vision or inspiration or something that you get, that you get. You might get some kind of idea, vision, or inspiration, uh, or inspiration from someone or invitation. That's what I'm getting. You're going to get an invitation from somebody, um, somebody you're going to get an invitation from you i believe you've been waiting on this this could be an invitation of uh love or marriage or a, a deep a deepened bond between you and somebody else um because if you look behind her or him, because this is a general reading, so it's going to be male or female. Let me take this off of this because sometimes that thing trips off the uh, recorder. Um, the drapes are, uh, there's drapes back there. So there's been a closure on this relationship for a little while. And now, um, once you get this invitation, I think those drapes are going to come back. You see them drapes in the back? That means something there. It means like there was a closing or a closure or something or maybe looking for closure for some of you Capricorns. So take all those and, you know, apply it to yourself. This ain't for everybody. This ain't for every Capricorn out there, but it is for some. There was some closure here or there was some something from... uh caused something not to be revealed and there's going to be a revealing thing from this invitation or opportunity there's a revealing of something uh, unveiling those curtains are going to come back somebody was hiding behind those curtains and then there's vines and all that stuff wrapped around the um poles so this has been long standing is what spirit is telling me and long time coming whatever the information is this is the eight of rods okay 
there was some big heavy responsibility here too, uh, carrying the, the Eight of Wands. There was some big responsibilities. Um, somebody, somebody, you been carrying a, somebody else's responsibility. Uh, you've been having some big responsibilities, Capricorn. That's all I could tell you. And being that it's a love relationship, you know, it could be a love of, of parents or a love of family or uh, in this instance, or a love of someone that you deeply care about. Um, and um, like I said, it's not a court card, so it's just the energies of the wand. So I'm looking at it like um, like a big responsibility. You're holding up a big responsibility. Um, some of you Capricorns aren't even thinking about love right now because of the overwhelming responsibility that you have. But there's some good news coming here to you. Um, and it seems to me like an invitation, like a special invitation to, to to be a special guest or something. That's what I'm picking up. But you're going to be in deep thought about it around the sec. This is the first week. Yeah, the first week of um of uh no, the second week. I'm sorry. Yeah, second week here. You're going to be in deep thought about it. You're going to think about this before you uh do anything. Before you do anything, you're going to really, really think it out really, really hard because this is something that may come in from the past, something you're familiar with, something that you wasn't sure of, and something may have been burdening. This may be a relationship that was burdening, burdening you, burdening, putting a burden on you because of the eight of rods, and the eight of rods is carrying a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders and it's heavy you don't know if you want to take on that responsibility because i believe this is an offer from somebody or some somebody or you know male or female is you know it depends on who's looking at the video i'm seeing an offer here being handed to you an offer or invitation or some kind of proposal and it puts you in uh uh you're thinking about it you're going to think hard, long and hard. You're going to take your time and think about this proposal, invitation, whatever this is regarding the relationship. You're going to think long and hard before you make a decision. This is the second week of April. Everything is decision time. You know what I'm saying? With the moons and the um, eclipses and things like that, it's all decision time. It's exposure time. It's people coming back from the past time. It's, it's thinking about the past times. It's thinking about even going back way back to your childhood times. It's like just like a, a overall thinking process going on with everybody. And like, where do you want to stand at? Because these planets is moving around with all these energies and these moons and these eclipses and and once they make they stand and stop and stand still wherever they're going to be at you are too so make sure you're in a good place um coming make sure you get a good reading from somebody you know my information down the bottom if you want to make sure you get a good reading from somebody because you're going to need this information because you don't want to get stuck in a bad cycle because once you get stuck in it after you make a decision, whether it's right or wrong, you know what that means, okay? You're going to be stuck either in the wrong situation for a long period of time. You're going to be in regret and doubt. You're going to be, it's going to be hard to let go of it because you chose that energy of uh, not letting go. And the energy is going to stay within you. There's nothing you can do about it. Sorry to say for some of you. So watch it. Watch it coming through the end of of, of, of March. You know, from now to the end of March, if you, you can get yourself a reading, a nice good reading so you can see what you need to do to uh, avoid the temptation because they're all going to be, everybody's going to be tempted because, <laughs> because uh, the, 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 the evil that be wants you to stay. How do they always say that? Um, misery love company. Well, that's what's about to happen. The misery that done wrong is going to want company and, and they're going to send temptation out there to, to try to sway you and get you to do go their way. OK, the more the merrier for them, you know, hey, that's their thing. So keep a sharp mind. Keep your third eye open 
ask for intuition, ask for vision, ask for in, in, uh, inspiration, ask for um, uh, to be protected during this time of the uh, the transforming of the universe. Because the universe is going to do its thing, whether you like it or that's just man's law ain't crap compared to what the universe is getting ready, wrath is getting ready to throw down. Some good for the good that done good and bad for the ones that done bad. That's just the way it goes. Okay, now I got the Three of Swords, okay? Um and the Three of Swords is is the um it's not it's not a court card, so I'm picking up maybe energy of the of an air sign. I mean of air. And, and the swords represent, you know, cut cutting, cutting something off, cutting something loose, letting something go, um, protecting yourself. Because they got swords in their hand, but they're not up. They're they're walking away. This person is walking away. And they don't look, neither one of them look happy. Neither one of them look happy at all. Um, I think they came a long way. This could be some something from the past and it showed up again. Uh, this could be something like an on and off relationship that happened with a lot of you Capricorns out there. Because of the path in the background. You see the path in the background? And it's coming from a house back there. So this could have been a live-in situation for a long time. Or a husband and wife situation. Where one person walked away. And neither neither of you were happy about the decision. Okay? It was a decision that had to be made. It was well thought over by the, um, the Capricorn. Or it could have been a yeah, it was made it was heavily thought by the Capricorn with the with the hermit, you know, going inside thinking, you know, thinking things through, making sure you make the right decision. That's that's the thing you could do. You took a long time to think about this. It was on your mind. Um, but it looks like somebody walked away. Either you, Capricorn, or the person um uh, that that came wanting to offer and maybe you just said I don't think so it, it, it was too long or maybe maybe they ain't got time but both of you are hurt in this situation though it's not just a one way street it's two the woman is the woman's hurt the man is sad okay because the woman's got uh, blood on her heart her, her heart is bleeding and she looks, she looks terrible. She looks rough. She looks like she's just been taken through the mill. And it looks like she's been battling. This is, you could have been dealing with the air sign is uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, okay? And she's, you know, holding her uh, swords two in one hand and one in the other. I think it's one in the other. It looks like it's just one. And she just put her swords down. She's tired of fighting. Um, She's tired of battling. She's tired of the battle. She's tired of the pain. She might have inflicted pain on herself by being with this person, whoever this person is, male or female, depending on what roles we're talking about here. You see her carrying them swords, but she don't have them up. They're down. You know, she's not on guard or anything. She's like, fuck it. Or, you know, like, forget it. You know, I give up. Man, I give up. I've been fighting and fighting and fighting, trying to get you, trying to get you, or trying to get your attention, or trying to get your love, and I'm not getting nowhere, so I give up, and I'm walking away, and it looked like he, you know, he's standing there, but he's not saying nothing, but he ain't looking too happy either, he's like, okay, I accept whatever you want to do, that's what it seems like to me, but he's not happy about it, the one that's really hurting is, is, is this one with the swords, that's why it is the three of swords. You know what I mean? It could have been another person in the relationship. They could have found out there was another person. It could have caught them with somebody else. Because threes always mean three. Three people. Three days. It could have happened three days ago. Three months ago. Um, it could have happened three times already. And being that that happened, you made it when uh, a lot of you Capricorns went you know, had to think about this for a long time, even though you did care about this person because it looked like you traveled a long ways with them, but you decided to let it go. All right. Um, and then we have the um, 
a major card, which is the Empress. The Empress is what is going to protect the um, Capricorn at this time during this sad period. She's coming in with a vision, inspiration, intuition. She's like a mother figure. Uh, she's very nourishing, very uh, caring person. Um, she, she's like, like I said, a mother figure. She, she's very nourish, nourishing, nourishing. She nourishes and she provides she's she's a listener she's a very caring person she's very intuitive and she has her stuff together okay the empress comes in with having having her stuff together um pulling everything together and being okay uh with or without anybody um she nourishes her her own self she don't need no she's um she's she's um self present preservated she's self preserved she's self preserved preserved uh, she's very insightful she has um she's somebody you can go and sit and talk to like a counselor psychic um intuition she has vision she can steer you the right way so this person may be someone in your life that you come to as the empress for nourishing for 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 like a cradle like somebody arms you can just lay in and just let them rock you because that per this person will do that for you uh and they will give you the nerve they will they will give you good advice they'll give you good advice and let you know hey baby everything's gonna be all right you don't have to worry um i know there was a falling out you cared about this person but you thought about it you made the right choice because um you knew you felt something wasn't right with the with the moon you knew something wasn't right you knew it because like i said she's carrying three cool this 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 battle been going on for a while back and forth and it, like i said it may have been it may have happened three times back and forth three three years three months um and it's the same thing over and over and over again and they <laughs> they put their swords down they, they you know look because you thought about it you went in thinking you thought about it for a long time before you and and, and while you think and they was just like you know i give up you know what i'm saying i'm tired of fighting i can't fight no more I, this is a battle i can't win my heart hurting though and you know i know the other person hurting too but you gave them the no you gave them the no uh capricorn some of you capricorns out there not talking about all of you just some that resonate with this male or female you gave the, this person which i said it could be an air sign a aquarius gemini or libra in your life or it could be their sun moon or rising and um you gave you thought about it and you said you you told you turned them down so they put their armor down they put their swords down they said i can't fight you said no my heart is hurting i'm hurting they hurting too but they had they knew there was something hidden whatever was hidden they may have found out about it that's why they went in deep thought because something happened Something happened in the relationship that brought something to the light. Whatever was hidden, that we found out about it, Capricorn. Good thing you have somebody here that's nourishing, somebody that you can talk to, somebody that has wisdom, somebody that would hold you in their arms and, and say everything is going to be all right, tell you that um, you made the right choice in this decision. It was for the best move forward everything's going to be okay this this empress here empress here it, it could be you that's very confident in in what you do and what you say as well you could be taking on the energies of the empress okay and then you like i said because you know your intuition uh she brings on intuition and, and high uh vision inspiration and you might have picked up on all this and seen uh in the moon whatever was hidden you seen it through your uh through the energy of the empress empress okay which is a major arcana card these are two major arcana cards together these two uh working together her her knowing everything seeing everything a visionary and um you worked your magic and you found out what was hidden here these two paired together, this one outweighs this one. 
even though they're both major arcana cards. If you got the Empress sitting there, if the Empress knows, she can see she got the third eye. Uh, she's spiritually in tune. Very wise, very visual, visional. Very, she's in, intuitive, like a psychic. So she saw through the bullshit, or he saw through the bullshit, okay? Okay. And the bullshit was this. Somebody being sneaky, all they wanted was money um, at any cost. Um, there was no sharing. They left everybody else out in the cold while they just try to sneak away with whatever. <sighs> this is the Four of Pentacles. Um, this is liar, cheater, thief. Somebody sneaking, trying to get away with something. Somebody maybe took something that belonged to a family member, may have tried to get away with something, or maybe they took something of yours, Capricorn, tried to get away with it. There was a family involved, and even they didn't even care that much. The greed, I'm seeing greed here. This is a greedy, selfish person. And maybe that's why, um, you know, you had to go in deep thought about, the, I believe it's still the same person because it's um, in um, standing by the moon, um, which means, you know, with the empress next to the moon, she already seen what the moon, what you couldn't see in, with the moon being there, there was some, there was some hidden shit going on and you found out about it, right? About how this person is and what they all about. And, and stuff and, and how they are selfish and think about nobody but their self. They always take, 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 no give regardless of who's suffering. See them people in the background out in the cold. They were left out in the cold while this person is still sneak trying to sneak off with whatever they can get. Um, and um, that's okay because you got the three rods. You got your stuff together. You already got two rod, three rods planted in the ground, and you're just looking out to the future, like, okay, now that this shit is all over and done with, now where do I go from here? Great reading, Capricorn. Um, you, you're you're the smart one. You're a smart little cookie here. I gotta tell you. Um. Because you worked your magic. Oh boy, my little thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You worked your magic, baby. I can see you in here just um um pushing, 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 pushing forward. Pushing forward. I couldn't help because I seen something in here moving now. I can see what it is. It's like you just kept pushing forward, pushing forward. You want a better future for your life. You want something better. You're tired of repeating the same old, same old, uh, repetitive things that doesn't serve you. You you ready for you ready for uh, you're ready. A lot of you Capricorns are male or female are ready for that connection to, with somebody that's going to be equal with the Empress coming in here really heavily. That 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 speaks for a lot, and, and she sees through the bullshit. Okay, she sees it. Um, so the moon card don't even really need to be there because she sees right through that moon. She it's illuminated to her because she has the vision. She's got the third eye. She's got the uh, her, she knows, he knows or whatever because he's this is the energies and it's a major arcana card and it's standing right it's right up underneath you guys, Capricorns. She's right up underneath, and you got you guys got the vision. You got the you you work your magic and stuff. You know what you're doing. You know you're intuitive. You you have some psychic ability. You know that you can see things coming before it comes. You can you know, and you plan things out and everything like that. You know, I know sometimes you you know you you're a very kind person, very very giving. But I tell you one thing, when it comes to making a serious decision about something that has to do with your life, you ain't going to let nobody jack it up. Mm -mm. You ain't let nobody jack it up. You ain't, uh-uh, you ain't having that. <laughs> you shield and guard your money and you protect yourself, but you're not on guard. You don't let nobody know it, but it's there in case you need it to chop somebody's head off if you have to. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. 
very good vibes I got here, especially with this all yellow and sunny and shiny. You you done you done planted your seeds and they done grown. They're stuck in the ground. They're not going nowhere. That that means a firm foundation. Uh, you're looking for a firm foundation in a relationship because it falls right underneath the. I want to leave you alone card because you don't treat me right. It's the same old bullshit all the time, and I'm tired of it. So I had to leave. I had to let you go. I had to say goodbye. And I'm going to look in the future now for something better. Somebody who's going to work with me. If I'm going to have a relationship, they're going to be working with me. They ain't going to be all this um, take, 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 regardless. Even if you know other people are suffering, you still want to take, take, take? No, it, it can't be like that. Go do that to somebody else. Get out my face. That's what you Capricorns are saying. And uh, you're looking out in the future. And you're wait ready and, and waiting for it. You know something's coming. You know it's coming because you're looking out. Uh, with the Empress is helping you to have your vision. She showed you your vision. She showed you the bullshit. And you, hey, I applaud my Capricorns out there. I don't feel no negative energy about you guys. You guys, I, I, or girls and guys, I don't feel no. I, you, 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 you beat the game. <laughs> um, you beat the Matrix is all I can tell you. You know what I mean? If you ever watch the movie and and not the special effects part, I'm talking about the serious part of it. I can see y'all pushing through right in this crystal here, just pushing through, pushing through. Uh, waiting for your ship to come in. Let's see what they say. Let's see what this says. Angel of Psychic Ability. Didn't I just say that? Didn't I just say that you guys are psychic? You got the ability to see things before it happens. <laughs> and you saw through the bullshit with the moon. And the moon is about things that are hidden that you can't see. But you got the empress next to it outweighs the moon. So you was able to see because she's a visionary. Or he or her, or her energies. Is a visionary. She's a psychic. She can see things. She can, she's, she, she tells you she's got knowledge. She knows what's going on. She's intuitive. She's empathic. She, she saw and, and, and seen all this stuff that was coming up or, or has been done before. And you turned, you, you, you turned them, you turned them away. Ah, <sighs> you had to cut the cord. But you're in for a better future, and you're looking out for it too. You're you kind of all right with it. This is all going to happen going to. This is going to be the end, towards the end of April. Um, what's coming is uh, from the angels is angel of psychic ability. <laughs> um, your intuitive and psychic uh, abilities are are strong and. At um, at present, so you're is it? I just said this, and I didn't even read this card because this print is so doggone small. I can hardly read it, but um, I'm making it through. I got my spectacles here, but I kind of I seen what it said. It said the same thing I said before I even read it. Your, your psychic ability kicked in, and it helped you to get uh, stay on the right path and make the right decision. Okay, Capricorn, that's you. Great job. You're a leader. St. John of Art says that. St. John of Art says you're a leader, Capricorn. And you are. You're very good leaders. You're very strong. Like I said, you know, we all have our weaknesses. You know what I'm saying? And we all try to give our all in all. And we sink ourselves sometimes into the wrong people. It happens to us all. But this go around, Capricorn, coming up you're going you're going to tune into your psychic abilities your visions you're going to um you're going to let that lead you you're going to let spirit lead you because you're going to think a lot about what you have to go through what you have to put up with what you have put up with in the past with this i think it's the same person for some of y'all is new it was like too much responsibility they wanted you to take take on too much of their responsibility with the uh, eight of rods, but you you're a leader, okay? Uh, you go out with that. You're a leader, okay? Uh, great job, great job, Capricorn. Now your bonus card is going to be the alphabet for lovers, and it is in this 
I don't take them out because the power lies in this sachet, this purple sachet here. Okay, it tells you that in the instructions. So you kind of just like shake them up inside of it, you know, move them. You can. And just, you know, kind of do like one of these numbers, shake it around, let them move around. And I'm just going to go in and just grab one. And I'm going to let you see the visual first. Remember, you guys, just a general reading. It's not for all Capricorns, just some, the ones who resonate with it. General readings are just like somebody putting the... Um, uh, putting it in a newspaper and it's just general okay and it will reach to some people because there's a gazillion gazillions of uh, Capricorns out there if you need a personal reading just look below in the description you'll see all my information just like I said the desire for change and excitement that's what this is basically saying you know everything uh, Capricorn got here uh, is planted in the ground as well planted is you're standing on solid ground uh, with your endeavors you're looking out into the future um, you already know what you want you already visualize what you want and you're just waiting for it to come okay that's what this is saying desire for change and excitement <laughs> all right well, I hope you all enjoyed that reading, Capricorn. I enjoyed doing this reading for you. You are one of the first of the signs that really had a a, a, a very positive outlook and, and, and very positive things happening here all the way around. I know in the past there were some things going on, but you overcame it. There was no stagnation at all because, you know, you used your inner wisdom and your guides to... Um, to uh, help see through the, the bullshit before you made a decision, okay? I'm so proud of you, Capricorns. I love you all. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you need a more detailed reading, if it didn't resonate with you, now's the time to do these readings because of, like I said, the full moon, uh, moon gazing, um, you know, uh, planets switching around. Uranus coming in there trying to start some bullshit with people about temptation, with temptations from people from the past, with temptations of uh, bullshit anyway. No matter whether it's the past or the future, they still coming in with bullshit temptation. You have to be aware of it. So you need a spiritual guide or a spiritual leader or get spiritual yourself and ask to see what's coming up and what choices that you need to make to benefit for your happiness and your freedom and your um, your love and for everybody else's sake too. So have yourself a good one. I love each and every one of you. And as I said, and thank you for all your comments. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for uh, subscribing. Um, I'm at 8,000 something custom um, uh, subscribers now and it's, I'm so excited. It's just growing and growing and growing. I got so many good things that I got to tell you, but that's a separate video because I run my mouth too much on these uh, generals or, or love readings. Um, I'll let, let you know all what's going on, what I got when I was moon gazing. I got so much information. It is unreal. Thank you so much for tuning in. And love is all there is and love is all there ever be. And um, I'm simply love signing out. And I'll see you sometime in the middle of this month. I may do a crystal ball reading or a crystal reading for you for the mid-month, okay? Um, I'll let you know about that. <laughs> um, other than that, accept it. Accept your love. Accept your happiness, okay? Thank you. Love you, cats. Bye-bye.